So, what does Drano and corroded aluminum have in common? You're about to find out. Welcome to Hack a Week. Yes, that's right, Drano, otherwise known as sodium hydroxide. It's a caustic agent, and the way this stuff works is it goes into the drain and mixes with the water, and it will actually eat away at any of the things that might be happen to be down in the P-trap, but it won't hurt the pipes, unless, of course, the pipes are aluminum. That's why we're using it to clean up the aluminum. What we're gonna do is mildly etch the surface of this aluminum and clean it up a little bit before we polish it. Now it will probably turn it a little bit dark and that's due to the silicon and copper content that is in most cast aluminum alloys. So if you're planning on anodizing your part, don't do this because what you'll do is you'll have more of a copper and silicon content on the surface where all of the anodizing happens and your anodization won't work properly. So this stuff's pretty nasty. We're gonna wear gloves, we're gonna wear safety glasses, gonna take some precautions. Don't try this at home. That said, let's get started. I've got three parts I wanna get clean here today. First one being the valve cover. That's uh, a little bit corroded. You can see some of the uh, corrosion and oxidation that's gone on here. I don't think this has a clear coat on it. I think it's just straight up polished one time and it's been corroded. This is the uh, chain cover, a transmission cover also known as. It's got some strange oxidation going on. I could spend a lot of time and sand that out, but I think I will be able to get a little bit ahead of the game by putting it into the sodium hydroxide solution. You should have all of the grease and oil removed from the piece ahead of time. The a solution will take some of the oil and grease off but what will happen is it will focus on that and it won't get to the aluminum underneath and you'll kind of have some spotty areas. This piece here goes on top of the valve cover. It covers the chain. It looks to me like this is painted. So before we do anything with this I've got to strip this. I've got some spray on paint strippers so let's run outside and give this a coat and then we'll mix up our sodium hydroxide solution while this is doing its chemical thing chemistry okay got safety glasses on got the part here here's the stripper stuff gloves to protect my hands you just put a little bit of this stuff on there and let it sit and it should just bubble the paint off and then we'll rinse it away with water afterwards this stuff is made by clean strip and it's a uh, aerosol as you saw it does a pretty good job it's pretty quick you can see it's already starting to blister the paint up and it won't take very long before that paint is off from the aluminum and it's all nice and clean, ready to uh, clean up in the sodium hydroxide and then polish. Okay, I've got a five gallon bucket here. I'm gonna fill this up with water and then we're gonna add the sodium hydroxide crystals to this. Never ever the other way around. Also, never ever to hot water. It'll boil, it'll splatter, not pretty. Also, not contained in anything. The stuff makes a gas. I'll explain a little more about that later. So let's fill this up. I've got the water level in the bucket so that it comes to about the halfway point on the valve cover. That way when I flip it over, it should cover both parts pretty equally, but it won't etch one section more than the other. You Know what I mean? Okay. Now we're gonna take that out and we'll mix in some sodium hydroxide, also known as Drano. Okay, remember when I was talking about the off-gassing that happens when you put this stuff in water? Straight up sodium hydroxide won't do that, but uh, Drano and other drain cleaners will. There's a little bit of aluminum in there. If you look into the hole here, if I can get it just right, you'll see some little sparkly bits. See those in there? Those are actually aluminum shavings. And when we put this with water, it's going to create a gas. The gas is there to help unclog the drain. So this is going to cause a little bit of bubbling. And if you were to put this in a sealed container, it would indeed explode. Don't ever do that. Okay, so I'm going to mix this stuff in with the water now. 
This is a five gallon bucket. I've got about three gallons of water in there. I want to put about two tablespoons per gallon of water. So three times two, that's six tablespoons. This little cup, this is one of those little solo cups. It's three ounces. I pre-measured ahead of time. Right about to here, a little bit below the top, is the equivalent of four tablespoons. So I'm gonna dump in about four tablespoons. We're gonna just slowly pour that in. Let it disperse around a little bit. We'll stir this around in a minute. Now we're gonna add two more, so that's gonna be about a half a cup. Now if it doesn't clean the part quick enough or well enough, I can always add a little bit more. I'm mixing up a pretty mild solution here with this amount. And we're gonna put the cap back on that and set it aside. Now we're gonna stir this around a little to mix up the solution. Still got the safety glasses on and I've got the gloves. You do not want to get this stuff on your skin. If you do, just rinse it off with water right away because it will irritate your skin. It's caustic. You can see on the surface there's some bubbles that have formed just kind of floating there. So I've got this attached to some nylon string which uh, I'm pretty sure isn't going to be affected by the by the lye. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, so let's go ahead and lower this piece in there. And we're just going to let it sit for a while. Let's take a look at our part that's stripping. It's all bubbly and weird looking. Okay, we could probably rinse that off now and all the paint will be gone. Into the rinse cycle. See, paint just blows right off. Pretty cool, huh? Safety glasses. Let's check back on our part here. This has been in here about 10 minutes. It's cleaning up a little bit, but it's not doing a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, strengthen the mixture up just a little bit. I'm gonna add about five more tablespoons here. Stir this in carefully, being careful not to splash. Always wearing the safety goggles and the gloves. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the valve cover and the transmission cover. final drive cover, whatever. And we'll let that sit for a while. Ooh, bubbles. See all the bubbles popping up? That means that it's etching that uh, aluminum in there. I need to be careful not to drop my camera in or that's the end of Hack a Week. <laughs> so the other part here has a little bit of corrosion on the end. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in there. Why not? Can't hurt. See if we can get it in off to the side. Let that go for a while. I just pulled this part out after about 20 minutes. You can see how it's all dark, except for a couple little places like right here, along there. Uh, there's another spot right there. See how it still looks kind of silvery, shiny? Probably because there's either clear coat or paint on here. So I noticed some of this on the valve cover also. That's why it's not in there anymore. It's over there off camera with some paint stripper on it. That's what I'm going to do to this. Let it sit a little and see if that is paint that it will take off and then put them back in the, the, uh, the bucket. So the valve cover is stripped one more time and I think there was a little clear coat on there. I saw a little bit of some stuff come off. So uh, back into the bath with it. We'll pull out the other part. See what it's looking like. Yeah, it's nice and dark, which means it's been etched pretty well. I'm just going to call it good enough on that one. I don't really need to do it too much because it wasn't that bad. So I'm going to rinse this really well now with fresh water. What I'm after here is to take off that dark layer. Just get it down to something aluminum and shiny that I can polish.
not too shabby it's uh, polishing up pretty decent actually doesn't look too bad at all um, that's just with the white polishing compound when I come back later with the red it'll get a little shinier than that I think I'll just do everything with the white polishing compound first and then follow up with the red later so coming along pretty good of course the valve cover is going to take a lot longer than this but speaking of that let's go take a look at it and see what it looks like soaking in the soup okay let's see let's see what we got here I would say that that one is just about as done as it's gonna be so we'll go ahead and rinse that one off and the valve cover Get a couple weird spots here and there like right there uh, I really think it's a clear coat or a paint that the stripper didn't take off. So I think what I'll do is give this a rinse with some water, hit some of these areas with some 800 grit sandpaper just to keep the scratches to a minimum. Just to get that stuff off there. Maybe even a scotch bright pad. And uh, maybe let it etch just a little more and then we'll start polishing. I'm using a scotch brite pad on the valve cover here just to clean this stuff up. And you know what? I'm liking this a lot better than using the sandpaper. It follows the contours a lot better. It gets off that black layer that's left over. And it's also taking off any of that uh, residual paint, clear coat, whatever it is that's on here. So that's actually the thing to use, scotch brite pad. Not bad, that came out pretty good for the first stage. Now we get to tackle the valve cover. good a lot better than it was I'm not after perfect on this I'm just after nice and clean and a little bit shiny because let's face it unless I clear coat this stuff in about a year or two it's gonna go kind of dull anyway but at least this now is close to what the other polished parts were so now I'll go over all three of these parts one more time with the uh, the red compound and that'll polish them up to a pretty high luster and and we're gonna be done that's it for the red stuff. I've got some uh, compound stuck in between all the letters here, so I'll, I'll detail all that out with the Dremel tool. I've got a little stainless steel wire brush on here. Let's see what that does to get the crud out. Yeah, that works really well, and it doesn't mar the surface at all. Now we can get after the letters and a few of the other places I couldn't reach with a small polishing wheel with the Dremel. A final little bit of cleaning by hand and we're good. That is a valve cover ready to put back on the engine. Now that we're done, what do we do with the leftover sodium hydroxide? Well, we just pour it down the drain because it's drain cleaner. Uh, if you've got a drain in the house that's running a little bit slow, take advantage of this and pour it down there. Let it sit for a little while and give it a good rinse afterwards. Pour it down the toilet if you want to. It's okay. It's used all the time and it's just lye. By the time it gets diluted in the sewer system or in your septic tank, it'll be just fine. So just dump it out down the drain. Don't dump it outside somewhere. You know, some animal might walk through it, whatever. It's kind of, it's caustic. If you get it on your fingers, it feels kind of slippery, which means it's taking the fats out of your, your skin and ew. just dump it down the drain. So I just dumped all of what was left of that in our bathroom sinks. And in the bottom of the, uh, the pail is all this black stuff. What that is, is those little bits of aluminum you saw at the beginning of the video they've all turned really black so I'll dump those out in the trash can and then I'll just rinse this out 
and uh, this is my mop bucket so no worries there there's the parts on the engine looks pretty good uh, I'm a little crowded here at the moment got this thing slammed up in here in front of all the other bikes but pretty soon we'll bolt this down put all the gaskets on everything and we're gonna get this engine into the frame on this baby right here so stay tuned for that that's it for this week Thanks for watching, thanks for all the donations, and until next time... Yep, that's right, Drano. Today we're going to mess around with some Dramo. Dramo.